Here's Ron Clymer, and he says this about his speech. You have to love Toastmasters. Many people join Toastmasters to overcome a fear of public speaking. Many people join to enhance their speaking skills. Ron Clymer has been a Toastmaster for 20 years. One wonderful thing about Toastmasters is, is that you can practice a presentation in front of a friendly audience before you do it somewhere else. Ron intends to present this short message to the North Carolina Real Estate Commission in December, and you're serving as his prototype for that audience. Please pretend that you are one of the nine members of this Real Estate Commission. Ron Clymer, repeal 58C.0604. Thank you, Brad. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Madam Chairman. Members of the Commission, I am just delighted that you're allowing me this few minutes to get up here and talk to you today about why I believe you should repeal 58C0604. And I'm sure y'all know what that is. I put a copy of it in front of it there for you. And it's basically a rule we have in North Carolina that if you want to be a real estate instructor that you have to send in an hour-long unedited video that will be subjectively evaluated by the staff of the commission. And one of the things we learn at Toastmasters is how to get along when the audio visuals don't work. This should be projected on the screen, but it's not due to technical difficulties. But that's okay. But I think 58C is one of those rules that seemed like a good idea at the time. Somebody was sitting around and said, yeah, let's do this. Kind of like prohibition probably seemed like a good idea at the time, but a few years later we ascertained it was not. Slavery seemed like a good idea at the time, but a couple of hundred years later we decided it wasn't. Maybe Obamacare would be a more recent example. But it seemed like a good idea at the time, but here's what it says, and this is on the sheet that I passed out to you. North Carolina real estate instructors shall master the following skills. And the seven skills on that list, one is the ability to communicate. Certainly that's important. Number two is the ability to present an attractive, effective visual image. We don't want the elephant man being a real estate instructor, and I think that's understandable. The ability to present instruction in a accurate manner, orderly the ability to use varied instructional techniques in addition to lecture, such as class discussion, role playing. I haven't quite figured out how to interject role playing into my pre-licensed classes, but I know there's a way if I work at it, but I haven't quite got that yet. Also, the ability to use instructional aids, such as an overhead projector when you don't have the cord going from the projector to the computer. Stuff happens. Number six, the ability to maintain an appropriate learning environment. And number seven, the ability to interact with adult students in a manner that encourages those students to learn. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think this is absolutely great. If I had a real estate school, which I do, and I was hiring a real estate instructor, that's the criteria I would look at to find a good instructor. I think this is absolutely wonderful. And how can we know if somebody meets this criteria? Well, the system we're using here in North Carolina now is the way we do it now is we submit an hour long video and it's evaluated by the staff of the North Carolina Real Estate Commission. I'm not quite sure who that is, but it's a small committee. If they think you're good, keep your license. If they think you're bad, you don't. One of my favorite teachers, Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar, one of my favorite teachers, and Zig told a long story that I'm going to give you the short version of, about this wise old king that went out and called all his wise men together and said, I want us to put together the wisdom of the ages and condense it down. And they condense it down to one sentence. And that sentence was, there is no free lunch. Well, that's about as succinct as you can get. Don't you agree? That is pretty succinct. And 
I think, what if we change the seven things on that sheet you have there on your table? What if we condense those down to two words? Teach effectively. Isn't that what we want? We want teachers that teach effectively. I think Ziegler would like that. I think the wise old king would like that. And I think the North Carolina Real Estate Commission would like that too. Who benefits from 58C0604? Well, how about the general public? Do they benefit from that? Do they get better instructors? I don't know. How about the instructor applicant? Do we benefit from that? I can give you a big resounding no to that. There's no benefit to the instructor. What about existing schools? Oh, well, they got a little less competition. That's the good news. But the bad news is their instructors have to go through this same program. Now, what about the potential real estate student? That guy that woke up this morning and said, I'm gonna go to real estate school and I don't want a boring, dull, mundane instructor. I'm sure glad the North Carolina Real Estate Commission staff has evaluated them for me. And I know if they have a license, they're good to go. What other industries require this? What other states require this? Flight instructors, college professors, they have video evaluation of flight instructors? They do? I didn't know that. Well, maybe I'm mistaken. Public school teachers, do they have it? Don, do you know? No? You ever done a video to get your school license? No? Okay. So other industries don't do this. So why do I think it needs to be repealed? Well, first question, is it necessary? My thoughts are no. But maybe I'm tenditious. <laughs> is it beneficial to the public? Once again, I don't want to be tenditious. Is it discriminatory? Hmm, I don't know. It certainly could be. But more importantly, is it accurate? And that's what we really want to know. Is it accurate? Well, I can't speak from other people's experience. I can only speak from my own experience. Well, here's my experience. And I wish I weren't having my technical difficulties, but I've basically got my resume up there. I've been teaching real estate classes in Florida since 1978. I've taught them pretty much every day since 1990. Uh, I know how to teach. Many of my students have gone on to open their own companies. They're the president of the Orlando Board of Realtors. They've gone on. Three of my competitors in Orlando, guess where they came from? My students. Uh, Cameron Academy, Reese Stewart School of Real Estate. Those are my students. And uh, I've got more positive Google reviews on my website at First Real Estate School in Hendersonville, North Carolina than any school in North Carolina. But you know what? You know what? The staff of the North Carolina Real Estate Commission says I am not worthy to have a real estate license permit to instruct because I'm dull. They sent in my, let me give you my timeline. Uh, now I don't know how other applicants fare, but you do. You're the North Carolina Real Estate Commission. You know how they fare. Well, here's what happened to me. I got my temporary license on May 1st. May 23rd, I sent in my first video. I figured this would be a slam dunk. Whew. On July the 12th, I got a rejection. It said, Ron, you didn't turn the power projector on and off at the right time. Ron, you have poor grammar. Ron, you offended one of your students by using her earrings as an example of an appurtenant. Ron, your reading glasses are a distraction. <laughs> Quit putting them on and taking them off. Okay. <laughs> well, I sent in another one on uh, July the 14th. I sent in my second video. I put a little more effort into it. If I could only talk to these evaluators as a peer, oh, I would so much love that. But I can't talk to them as a peer. They're the ones that give me a license. Listen to this. Yes, Ron, 
you deliver this primary level one material confidently with few instances of uncertainty. If you work to implement the suggestions in this and previous video evaluation, perhaps your confidence will be merited. Oh yes, I definitely need more confidence teaching financial information about real estate. I've only been doing it for 30 years. So, ah, there you go. They didn't like my example of the difference between the Board of Realtors and the North Carolina Real Estate Commission. My students like it, but my evaluator did not. Well, that's okay on, oh, I got that rejection back on August 12th. I put a notice on Facebook that said, you won't believe this, but I've been rejected for the second time by the North Carolina Real Estate Commission. 200 of my friends sent a letter to Bruce Moyer and told him I was not only a good instructor, I was an extraordinary instructor. And he sent me an email that said, Ron, I don't care what your students in Florida think. It matters what I think. Well, there you go. So that's okay. I sent in number three. And Bruce gave me, um, I sent this in, and same thing. They said, Ron, you have incorrect grammar. You said A alienation clause instead of an alienation clause. Isn't that awful? And Ron, you ended a sentence with a preposition. Isn't that awful? So I've got my September the 14th. I sent the fourth video in. Today's November the 9th. I hope it's going to be approved. Does the North Carolina Real Estate Commission want to tell every single instructor how to teach do you want to tell me that if I don't move around the room that I'm not a good instructor? Do you want to tell me that if I don't repeat these, these questions that come from the students that I'm not a good instructor? I don't think so. When does this need to be repealed? Today. You want a big tree in your yard? Take a hundred years for it to grow. You better plant it today, folks. If the North Carolina Real Estate Commission doesn't weed out boring, dull instructors, who will? There's a thing called the market. The market will weed them out. I know that's true because I put a couple of them out of business down in Florida. You got a good school over here, a bad school over here, bad school goes away. That's the way it works. Repeal 58C0604 in this evaluation. Oh, I learned in my things I should, ans I should end by asking, not are there any questions, but what's the muddiest part of this presentation? So was there anything muddy you'd like to ask me about? If not, let me ask you a question. Do you think the person at the front of the room today is articulate enough, knowledgeable enough, confident enough to hold a real estate instructor's license in the state of North Carolina? Mr. Toastmaster. 